All right, everybody, we are back here. <laughs> Manny Kalisto, Coach RJ, www.fitclub.fit. So, Manny, we're going to rapid fire these questions that everybody's okay. longing to know. Okay. What is the flight like heading to Portugal from Winnipeg? Well, so it's Winnipeg to Toronto, okay. and direct flights from Toronto to the Azores. I'm talking oh, wow. about the Azores. Yeah. And through the summer, I think on every second day leaves. Like, there are a lot of Azorians wow. living in Canada. Okay. And because of that, especially in Toronto and, and Winnipeg, uh, there are actually more Azorians in Canada than there are on the islands now. Wow. But uh, but it's easy to get there. It's less than, depending on the time of year, like anything, but it's okay. not super expensive. Okay. And uh, I mean, the flight from here to one Toronto is like six, seven, eight hundred dollars in yeah. any day. Yeah. But once you get to Toronto, it's a direct flight to the wow. island, to the main island, the one I'm from. So how long is that? It's about six hours. Wow. So it's I'm a huge Hawaii guy. Yeah. And we've done the island so many times. My kid's seven now. He's been there seven times yeah. yeah this was last year was the only time that we didn't go yeah and we're like maybe we should just change it up but we're like we want to see the waterfalls we want to see the black sands there the is volcanoes. an island called i flowers. did not know the you got to go to an island that, called that flowers there's an it's called flourish in portuguese but okay. it's flowers this is in portugal right okay. it is like something out of lord of the rings okay okay if yeah. you've seen the movies and the waterfalls and riverdale <laughs> no but i do okay. want to watch out with my but kids. if you ever watch that yeah. uh, but it's basically it's it's massive cliffs with mm, 20 waterfalls wow. it's it's like i'll send you a video but you'll you'll be impressed yeah. but uh but i i think that uh it's you love hawaii hawaii is hawaii yeah. lots yeah. of beautiful islands the philippines the beautiful yeah. islands in the world that i haven't been to yet okay. uh san miguel the azores has a little bit of all that wow. right because i sometimes compare this this is the way i describe the azores it is ireland with trop with palm trees okay so it's as green as ireland is as dramatic in its landscape, but it has uh, it's a subtropic, right? Wow. It's not super hot, like yeah. in a sense, it'll never be super hot, okay. like uh, uh, you know, some places in Asia, like. Mm -hmm. But it will be. It's always like sixteen to twenty-five degrees year round. Okay. So when would be the ideal wet time to June. go there? May June. June. Because not winter. June, well, it, no, winter, the reason it's called the Ilias Verde, which means green islands, is okay. because it gets a lot of beautiful rain. Yeah. And you need a lot of rain to make things oh, green. Okay. So between December and the end of February, it's, it's a rainier season, oh, okay. right? Like every place, lots of places have rainy seasons. Mm -hmm. uh, but the temperature is still pleasant. And if you like mm -hmm. to hike, if you're not a beach person and you don't mind a little rain, and plus it's an island in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, mm -hmm. smack in the middle. There's nothing around it. There's nine islands. Mm -hmm. It, it, it's completely dependent on the, the ocean currents. So you're going to get five different uh, weather systems in one day. Mm -hmm. And I compare it sometimes living on the island to being in a washing machine and a dryer. Okay. All day long. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> That's any time of year, but mostly during the winter. So yeah. when you get out there, so let's say I go do this, uh, that your, your main island. Yeah. Do I, do I stay there? Like we usually do about two weeks if it's, you know, uh, you don't need more, flight. you don't need more than a week in yeah. San Miguel. Okay. A week is nice because okay. you'll get, get a good sense of the key things. Yeah. And if you can island hop to That's at least say, flowers yeah. to a couple of islands, mm. and you can do that through a plane and some of them ferries. Yeah. Okay. That second week. Mm -hmm. And I would, I mean, People who know me would say, well, don't suggest one island because they're all beautiful. But the truth is uh, I'm from the largest one. Uh, so there's more to do there. But uh, but the most dramatic island, and I haven't been there yet, is Flowers. Okay. That is the most spectacular island, I think, of all of them. And then if you just want to climb an island that's literally just a volcano called Pico, mm -hmm. like Peak, mm -hmm. then it's that's the highest point in Portugal. Okay. Like all of Portugal yeah. is on that island, right? So, so little, like little plane. Back little planes yeah just like fairly a, cheap. like a fair oh my gosh that's fairly inexpensive give yeah. me an example if you remember how much I would it cost i can't remember, can't remember the cost okay. in euros but, but oh, it's, it's in euros it's, it's so, in euros. so that's my next question it's euros what's the money like euros how, how much is it going to cost so i can get down there let's say it's going to cost me 900 to 1500 bucks depending on the type of year yeah you know i want to rent a probably an airbnb if i want to go out to eat if you know, you're going like, to go i can't speak portuguese so you, tell me so like, first of all Everyone speaks pretty well English on the island. Okay, okay so that answers thing. one of our questions. All, everyone takes English in school. Okay, okay? good to know. Uh, secondly, and French and whatever. But okay. uh, uh, the other thing is that it's uh, compared to a lot of places. Com you, if you're going to travel in Europe, and it is part of Europe, it's okay. an island, but it is, it's part of Europe because okay. it's part of Portugal. Yeah. Uh, 
it is less expensive to rent a Airbnb there, even though, and there's one on every every village or one in every village corner, uh, the street corner. Okay. Uh, but it's less expensive, definitely, than traveling to Spain, for instance, or okay. to England or France. Like yeah. you, you definitely will get more for your money. You're going to eat for uh, you, you're going to spend less on eating. How much you, a cup of coffee? Let's go there. That's how I always euro? judge it. A couple yeah. of euro? I don't know. I don't drink a couple coffee. Couple euros? I don't drink couple. coffee. Yeah. Beer? I can't yeah. even remember what a beer is like. <laughs> and I was just there last May, but you know, and I had a lot of it. Okay, so, so that's maybe probably that's why. why. <laughs> <laughs> that's probably why I can't remember. Yeah. I just but you don't come money. back saying, "Oh my God, I gotta like." Start saving like oh just, no, it's you don't compared feel, to other. Like, you know, you go to Vegas. Europe and you're done. is expensive. Like, you live out in Vegas. You're Europe done. is expensive. Yeah. Going to the United States is expensive. Yes, it is. Uh, going to Portugal mm -hmm. compared, and this is a you can check the stats okay. compared to like even owning property. The it, you get more for your for your money, and they are uh, you know they are very good mm -hmm. at helping visitors feel welcome and, okay. and and taking care of visitors it's always been the case i think that's one thing that everybody would be a little bit concerned of is going to a different country and kind of not being accepted and you know like being yeah. worried about getting Portugal whatever robbed or some of the friendliest people around and yeah. it, like any country can have you could go to any country yeah. in the world and have something happen that you don't want to have uh, some are more than others to be yeah. honest depending on what's happening there right portugal is not one of them it's, okay. it's a very safe place to travel and at least that's been my experience mm -hmm. i can only speak to my experience but also the experience of anyone who's ever i've ever known and uh, that has gone that is not portuguese okay right uh that doesn't have connection a personal connection to the islands yeah. like i do or even to the continent mm -hmm. uh i've never heard anyone say i hated going to portugal so <laughs> how do people get around like if i came there as a tourist my public transport cab okay so cabs Ubers, uber uber cabs, rental you can do rental, rental yeah absolutely okay. be prepared more to drive a stick Okay. Uh, that's common in Europe as it is, yeah. uh, which is why I never drive on the island because I can't drive a stick. Right, right. So uh, it's my, my husband does that. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, but um, yeah, so, and public transport is awesome. Bikes, mm -hmm. motorcycles, you can rent motorcycles, you can rent bicycles, of course. Uh, you can rent, and the island is uh, basically, I believe, uh, maybe not exactly, but it's about 70, 80 kilometers long and about 30 wide. Okay. Not huge. Yeah. It's like a post-it snap. Wow. On the middle of the Atlantic. 80 kilometers, yeah. you said, and 30 wide. Yeah. So that's like going to, to the beach, Grand yeah, Beach, back totally, less. Totally, totally. But yeah. the difference is if you go in the old roads, yeah. it winds around a okay. lot of places. Yeah. If you go on the highways, okay. the new highways that they have on the island over yeah. the last 20 years, mm -hmm. it literally you can cross the island in less than an hour. Shopping malls, grocery Everything. stores, super it's successful. Super, it's, uh, it's, uh, since the, uh, since um, large transatlantic ships started docking on the main, on my island, yeah. uh, about 10 years ago, it's completely altered tourism and, uh, okay. because people do day trips there, like they do mm -hmm. other cruises, right? Yeah. So you stop on your way to, you know, London or to Britain mm -hmm. or wherever you're going. And so there's lots of people, especially between May and I guess the end of September, which is the high cruising season. Okay. So, uh, but it's, it, it's, of course, it's going to be always a little more expensive in the summer. Okay. Like every other place. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. but outside, like I say, if you go from May, June, April, May, June, mm. uh, again, if you have kids in school, that's not easy to do. But if right. you, if you want to take them out for a couple of weeks, you, yeah. lots of people do. They do that for Mexico. I know I had students do that all the yeah. time. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You'll, you'll pay less and it won't be as busy with tourists and mm. as it is. It is quite busy because not only is this, uh, our tourists going that, but then you got people like me who mm. literally lived there for part of their life yeah. and literally it's in our dna you yeah. need to go back yeah i need to go back to the island i mm -hmm. was only there till the age of eight but it was enough for me to realize that part of my soul was there right. so and i need to go back to and so a lot of portuguese a lot of azurians go back to their island a lot yeah when did you come so you were born there born 1973 was my family immigrated to 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 winnipeg winnipeg okay yeah. so 73 uh i guess a lot's changed but You've been back there in May. Oh yeah. What what are they doing? Like, did they have gyms there? Or? Oh yeah. Okay. So when I left Portugal in 1973, the country was a dictatorship, okay. and uh, it was as far back in time as you can get, right? Okay. And that's before they joined the European, before Portugal joined the European Community. So okay. once that happened, an infusion of money came, yeah. and it it was brought into the 
present into the, the century, right? Okay. So uh, uh, if you go there now, even from 10 years ago, it's as modern and as there's everything you possibly could need as a visitor would be there for you. Okay. And and the accommodations are awesome, basically mm -hmm. on from hotels to Airbnbs to, you know, whatever it might be that you're looking for camping, you can camp there, hike. It's a it's a it's a hiker's paradise. Okay. Yeah. So that's what you'd recommend if we ever went down hiking. there is is so first of all get to the island, second yes. of all where would you stay? Like, what's right uh, this, what, what do you anywhere. look for? You like, can stay anywhere on the island because just about, I have to say that the northeast part of the island is a little more isolated. It's okay. mountainous, okay. less options there. I know okay. that. I learned that firsthand from my walking trip that I yeah. did two years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, but but on the main Ponta Delgada, which is the city, okay. the main city, the capital, yeah. and then anything around uh, that area, uh, you'll have all sorts of options from little villages. You can stay in a little village by the sea or in one in the mountains, uh, or you can stay in the main city, which has, of course, a number of, uh, you know, hotels, all kinds from, you know, five star, whatever, you, whatever the top uh, right, hotels right. can be in the, and all the, and the medium ones. Okay. Yeah. And food. What's the, what's the food like? <laughs> like what's, what's the like food like now? You better now? like seafood. Seafood. Okay. Yeah. If you don't like seafood, it could be, or, or I've had peaty peaty chicken. Oh, well, definitely you had. Yeah. And uh, the other thing is uh, you're going to love seafood. Of course, the freshest seafood you can imagine, mm -hmm. literally brought out of the sea every day. Mm -hmm. But also, uh, you, if you're a meat and potatoes person, you're yeah. good because there's at least three cows for every person on the island. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. there's a lot of, and some of the best meat. Yeah. Truly, like these cows are living on pastures that, that are paradise mm -hmm. for a cow. Like mm -hmm. if you're a cow, you're happy on that island. Uh, pigs and all of that. We eat a lot of pig, pork, and uh, but meats and potatoes. And then you will go there and you will have something very unique. Mm -hmm. But other cultures have it similar to this. You cook food in the ground okay. because it's volcanic. Yeah. So there's thermal heat underneath the ground. And you literally put meat, potatoes, sausage, cabbage. You, it's called a zidu, which technically means stew. Okay. okay. But it basically gets all put in this giant pot. Then they place it in the ground in a cylinder. Mm -hmm. They cover it, leave it for six hours, mm -hmm. and then you eat it. And it's and so it's, the ground is already heating this food up. Oh yeah, it's oh. The, the, the Mother Earth is heating the food. Cool. Yeah, because you it, save money that way. Because the entire <laughs> island is is all the islands are volcanic. Like yeah. the only reason they're there is because the Earth moved and <laughs> exploded and did all these things yeah. and left. And so all the rock is lava. Uh, like all of it is firestone, right? Okay. All of it is igneous and all that. Yeah. And uh, and then mixed in there is all this beautiful greenery and and oh here's another reason to go most importantly there is nothing on that island can kill you other than the motorists okay like no creep there's no creepy crawlies no snakes oh, no like if you're afraid of any because there are a lot of beautiful places you tigers go to and lions. yeah tigers lions <laughs> not tigers lions oh, bears poisonous snakes no bears <laughs> there is nothing except in may no, <laughs> I, mean, I joke all the time. The <laughs> only thing that will kill you there is a local motorist okay. who is when you cross the street and you're not looking both ways. Right, yeah. Right. Uh, but outside of that, there is nothing. And that is a that's a fact. There is nothing on those islands yeah. that will harm you in okay. any way. Uh, you know, you just have to be okay with varying weather because it is it, it is an island in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. What about desserts? What do you guys do? Oh, we do all kinds of things, so, you know, like some of it is traditional Portuguese, like the custard tarts, you probably okay, had those, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And then we have our own version, which are uh, right from the Azores. It's a tart that's made with coconut and it's just so amazing. Uh, mm. Rice pudding is a big thing there too. Um, you know, what else? Cakes, uh, lots of big What about goods. cold? Cold, anything cold? Cold? Yeah. Okay, so they don't. Dr they drink their beer warm, which is interesting. But, but what about ice cream or anything? Oh God, yeah. And, and warm Ola. beer. Yeah. O Ola is like Ola is the big company there. Okay. That's common in a lot of European countries. But yeah. lots of cold treats and okay. uh, yeah, I mean, it, there's such a huge variety there. Of course, they love and of course the most amazing wine. Some of the best wine mm. is made on the island too. If you drink okay. wine and oh, and we have the sweetest pineapples in the world okay you think Kauai has pineapples <laughs> ah. yeah okay because we grow our pineapples in greenhouses yeah and that's completely controlled it takes four years to grow a pineapple but once you eat that pineapple mm -hmm. you will never taste a sweeter pineapple it is it's, it's a science it's also the only place in Europe that you that grows tea yeah only place in Europe oh. on, on my island right mm. they the Chinese came over at some point in the history, yeah. taught them how to terrace uh, tea growing. Wow. And they, to this day, there are two or three uh, 
large plantations that still produce really good tea. And they make the best uh, passion fruit liqueur. Mm. So that's, that's part of it too. Well, yeah. so Hawaii actually doesn't have the Dole Plantation anymore. They actually moved it. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. I think it was just a matter of funding. So oh. they actually don't have a lot of pineapples there. Oh, okay. Um, they, That's new to me. I didn't know yeah, that. Yeah, they just have like the most amazing beaches. But the main thing coming out of Hawaii is their coffee. Oh, yeah, of course. So like if you go there, especially the big island, not yeah. so much like the main island where everybody kind of goes, where it's like Vegas meets a beach. Yeah. Uh, but when you go to the big island, which is my favorite island, yeah, you, they've got two parts. So it's like how you mentioned, they've got the rainy season, yeah. which is the cheaper side. So like us as a family, we stayed at a like four star and it only cost us like a hundred bucks a night. It was ridiculous. Right. Right on the ocean. We seen rainbows coming out, but it was constantly raining. But that's the, the the rainforest side. So if you want to go see beautiful yeah. tropical, but be always have a jacket on you. Yeah, we seen you see like the scenes like, from Jurassic Park. That's kind of well, stuff. exactly, yeah. and that's where you're gonna see yeah. that. And then there's the other side, where on the north part of it, it's actually about 40 degrees Celsius, and up there it's all desert. It's so hot, yeah. and you're dying. But that's where like it's two what grand a, a night. Two that's grand a night to stay, right? Right. They've got like the most prestigious beaches there. Yes, of course. And then you go further down into the jungle and it drops down to about 18, 19 degrees. Okay. But this is where you're going to find all the great right. coffee. Right. And it's and places for everybody. It's unbelievable. Like you yeah. just instantly go in there and you take a sip and you're just constantly. How many times have you been to Hawaii now? Oh man. Because I've never I, been I, yet. I would say it's on my list. 15, 15 or oh, more. Okay. Yeah. yeah my sister, I have yeah. Family Twice I've... a year. I, I, oh, that's I, awesome. It was like, I need to stop being here in the winters. Yeah, yeah, of course. We went to Hawaii, but we've done it so much yeah. that, you know, the kids right now are in a phase where they're building up their endurance to be able to walk. We tried right. doing it last year and just like throwing them on the backpack wasn't conducive to a four hour hike anymore. For sure, for sure. And so we're building them up. But next year we're considering, and, and maybe Portugal, like if we can go there, probably, we don't want to go there when it's warm here. You know, like yeah. here we stay here. Yes, and that's like you. I don't I, like. I don't travel anymore in the summer. I love yeah. being in. The, you know, I love Winnipeg in yeah. the summer. So, uh, and now I have the option of not to because I'm retired. Yeah. But, but I think if you want to go to Portugal, uh, if you want to, you want to go. Uh, you're not going to go there in the winter for sure. Continue to go to Hawaii. Okay, okay? <laughs> yeah. don't go to San Miguel in the winter. That's yeah. not going to be good for yeah. you as a family. Yeah. Uh, you, if you want to go there just to see how beautiful it is, right. June, May, or even just summertime, of course. Okay. If you okay. go now, because the other key things also on the island in terms of flora, mm -hmm. like okay, so the island is famous for its hydrangeas. Okay, the the flower, mm -hmm. those massive balls of flowers. Okay. okay, so they literally grow along every street and highway. Way wow. from May to mm. September in different colors. And that's the Would other we thing. see that on a Portuguese women's, they'll get a tattoo of it or something? Yeah. So if of we course see you, a flower on them, that's probably what we're probably, looking at. Probably. Right. But also, it's like one of the things because there's so much iron in the soil. When, when we grow, grow our hydrangeas here, basically they're white. That's all we can get. Yeah. There, you can get them in purple, pink, blue, purple. The variety of colors is extraordinary because right. it depends on the pH, the, the acidity in the yeah. in the soil determines the color of the of the flower, right? right, right. So it has a huge variety of of uh, of uh, uh, types of hydrangea, colors of hydrangeas, but okay. uh, and you'll only see that between May and the end of August because okay. that's the peak season for it. Yeah. It's pretty spectacular. I have to send you some videos. You, if I can't convince you with send these it videos, to this guy. Send and it. again. Tourism Azores should be paying me. <laughs> <laughs> so, so this video is nothing related to fitness. I kind that. of related to fitness, but I think a lot of our members are, they love to travel. You have a lot of Portuguese people in your group. We, we do. In your group. Yeah. We started with amazing. Mia and we're, yeah. both, and we're both from the same island. We're yeah. born on the same island. Yeah, that's that's yeah. fantastic. But, well, and uh, Lucinda, I don't know if you know who she is. Yes, her. yes. She's always back and forth in Portugal. Yeah, they're, they're, these, they're like me now in the sense now I have the option of doing that, yeah. going just about every year for a couple of weeks, right? Yeah. Just to kind of get my fix and then mm -hmm. come back here, right? But uh, anything else that you would want to tell the Fit Fam or any of the other viewers, maybe some random people that just jumped on, but more importantly, it's members that are watching this. So I, anything I else would, you want to teach them? I would just say it's that old thing about just do it. I know it's Nike it makes <laughs> money on that, yeah. but the truth is that is what it's that it's a mental. We we could come up with a lot of reasons why we think it's too far the time you know too early in the morning i've yeah. got too much to do i can't fit it into my schedule uh whatever the reasons we come up we we can make we can come up with those excuses but in the end you just kind of make up your mind how do i make this work yeah if you really want to 
improve your health and your flexibility, especially and have a and yes, if you want to have a rocking body, if that's what you're going for, then yes. I, I always joke about this. And people say when I when I look fitter in my life, they say, "How did you do it?" I said, "I just pick up stuff, lift them, put them down, <laughs> and, do and when you do that, and repeat, <laughs> yeah. and when you do that for a while, yeah." Stuff happens. Body makes changes. So, yeah. <laughs> it just happens. Yeah. It's, it's, I know it's not, a, it's not science. It's yeah. basically your body wants to move. It is built to move. We are, yeah. as human beings, yeah. genetically, evolutionary, okay. built to move. Because there was a time in our history that if we didn't move, yeah. something would kill us. Yeah. A dinosaur, oh, not a dinosaur, <laughs> but a, 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 a tiger, a tiger some a some creature was going to kill us pigs, if yeah. we didn't move. And yeah. if we didn't move, we wouldn't find food. And yeah. if we didn't find food, we died. This is true. <laughs> this is so true. So speaking of movement, we have a ping pong table here. We yeah. We're talking a little bit about that. You talk about movement. Jerome's on a losing streak. <laughs> Good. So, <laughs> Much so, to my benefit. Because I don't know how hardcore it's with my it. head and stuff. And even at the best of times, I, I think I need a lot of practice, but uh, my eye hand coordination isn't always the best. Okay, so and we're gonna we're key. gonna we're gonna get a little game going. Okay. Okay. And right. it's gonna go up to eleven. Okay. okay. We're gonna go one game up to eleven. Okay. You're gonna get first serve. All right. Okay. What do you think the score is going to be? <laughs> <For me? laughs> I don't know. Up to 11? Yeah. Up oh, to 11. I so think I'm just going to get, I'll be lucky if I get five. Okay. So five 11, you yeah, think? Yeah. Five 11. Five 11 for you and Jerome? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I there we have it, guys. We're going to get some footage of this game. Jerome's <laughs> been stretching. He's he's <laughs> hydrating behind the scenes here. Manny's loose. He's a little maybe nervous. He's put, eyeing up Jerome maybe, right now. Maybe if I put my hat on and my sunglasses, it might help. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to get footage of this, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Manny Callisto, Coach RJ, FitClub.fit, and we'll see you on the blue. All right. Two. Okay, can't hit the net. Oh, no, no, you're good. Oh, you're good? Yeah, you're as good. long as it hits the net and rolls over on his oh, side. Okay. So that was your point. All right. Yeah. Point. Three, one. Three, one. All right. Three, one. Just keep getting... More balls in my pocket. Oh, that's four one. Yeah, it is ball now. It's ball. Okay. Four one. Okay, ready? Oh, oh now he's bringing out the tricks. Oh, wow. Two four two. Second serve. Second serve. Two four two. Nice. Oh, that's it. That's it. That's it. I lost your foot. Five. Okay, your serve. Five, five, serve. five serving two. Okay. Five serving two, first serve. <laughs> five serving. Three. Yeah. Okay. okay, one more. You got one more serve. Oh, oh no, no gifts, Manny. Two. Four, five, one first five. serve. Whoa, oh, five, five, five. five. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think he's, he's, competitive. he's competitive. He's competitive, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, I know. He's competitive. 6 5. So there you go. Oh. oh. Sixes. Your second serve. Your second serve. Whoa, that's a kill. Oh! Seven. Look at that. You beat two by two. Seven, six. Six, seven. First serve. Oh, oh, you got that little spin. He's got the uh, spin. Okay. All right, seven, his serve. Right. Second serve. Nice. Okay, eight, seven. Eight, seven, eight, seven. For you. Seven, eight, seven, eight. You. Yeah. Whoa, nice. The rallies. Oh! <laughs> that was good. That was good. That was good. That was the best one. Eight. You're up nine, eight, nine, eight, first okay. serve. Whoa! Oh. 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 Ten! Possible game right here. <laughs> ten, eight. Ten, eight. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, no gifts, Patty. No gifts. Keep it in dramatic, okay? Okay. All right, oh, nine, ten, nine, ten. He's got two serves now. Okay. You put one away, you win. 